Hey guys, what's going on? This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. In this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes with me. I'm scheduled to shoot an engagement photo shoot today. We're in beautiful Carlsbad right now. We're going to hit up four locations. Four locations, guys, today. We're just waiting for the lovely couple to arrive. We're going to hit the flower field behind me in Carlsbad. Then we're going to move over to La Jolla and then San Diego. So it's going to be a fun, full day of taking pictures. Like I said, engagement photo session, taking you guys behind the scenes with me. We're going to do some fun stuff, cool stuff. So join us for this behind the scenes video. Engagement photo shoot coming up next. Ready? Let's go. You guys ready for an awesome photo shoot? Yes, sir. We got Peter right here. My man right here. And Ellie. Hi. Yeah. I've, I've actually shot your sister's wedding. Yeah, yeah. How many years ago was that? Three years? I think three years. Oh, three years ago. Yeah, so today we're doing their wedding uh, engagement photo session. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have some fun. A lot right? of fun. And you know what we're going to do? Are you gonna tell us what to do? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> Pop some bubbly and rock and roll, baby. First thing I notice when I get there, plenty of tourists. No problem. Second thing, this place has plenty of restrictions. I'll get to that a little later in this video. But don't let that affect you doing your job. What I do when I shoot pre-weddings guys, two bodies, one wide, one 7200. So got the 35, the 1635 F4 Nikon on this camera, 7200. This is our first spot we're gonna hit up. There's a lot of tourists here like I said. So uh, she's putting on her shoes right now, Ellie is, and take a few pictures right in this beautiful backdrop. I'm shooting at about 4.5 at 640 ISO 100 so we could shoot it raw there you go uh -huh. move your hair out of your face that's good one of the major restrictions at this place is no tripods no flashes we're shooting at a bad time of day the sun is not in a good spot but we're both from out of town and this is the only Smile, time we had to hit this spot before we moved on to the other spots awesome flower fields had its set of obstacles and challenges Number one, that putting green grass they put there, not too pleasing. And that green tape they put around so people don't go into the flowers. Not to mention the tourists and the crowd all around us. So in this example, I cropped the image so those things don't show up in the picture. Here's another example of what I'm talking about. That green tape and the green grass there doesn't look too appealing. Two things you could do here. Take your picture as is and crop it in post like I did here. or crop it in camera in this image I already cropped it in camera and sometimes cropping or angles doesn't save the image you still got that green tape so you can edit this out in Photoshop if you wanted I don't like the white flowers on top as well so I cropped the image in I took that out to my liking okay so hold her hand and then you guys are gonna kind of look at me and it kind of hits together a little bit there you go. Another obstacle to overcome here was the fact that we couldn't take any lighting equipment, any tripod, stands, not even a speed light into the fields. And this is middle of day, bright sunlight, sun is on top of our heads, so directional light is very important here guys. This image is an example of the crowd in the background, that's no good, and the light on top of the head, it's not too flattering. I switched the couple around, I went to the other side, and I shot from this angle. The backlight of the sun eliminates shadows and harsh light from the face. Alright, good. So the reason why I'm shooting on the side is because I'm not too crazy about this grass thingy. Here's an example of what I'm talking about with the backlight, the sun, shadows, and harsh light. I'm trying to cut these, this out, the grass and this tape. So I'm gonna try to crop it in camera, try to cut that out and do a little bit of an artsy image. What do you guys think, color or black and white on this one? Something else you can do to deal with harsh shadows on the face, just tell the couple to look at each other and you have a way better picture to deal with harsh lighting situations. You guys having fun? Of course. Just getting yeah. warmed up. <laughs> That's cool too. Me again, that's it. Finally, good quality light coming in from the gazebo there. 
it's a welcome sight for sure. So what you want to do is use these nice lines of the gazebo to your advantage. Always make sure they're right in the middle. Action shot, there you go. A tip for all you beginner photographers, if you ever come across a situation where the lighting is harsh and you have a lot of shadows on the face, slow down, don't panic, take your time and just use some of the tips I give you in this section of this video. If the client sees you getting nervous or frustrated, they're going to get nervous and they're going to be worried that the pictures are not coming out good. Hey, by the way guys, sign of the times. <laughs> On to location number two. This is a pier in La Jolla, California. Finally, freedom, no restrictions, hardly anybody around, the ability to control my own light source. We're using the Godox 600, guys, setting it up. Oh, look at that, I don't know. You guys ready? ready All right. You guys having fun so far? Beautiful. Yeah? yeah? All right. You want to have the ability to overpower the sun, and a conventional speed light will not work in this type of situation. You need a wireless external flash unit with more power than a speed light. All right guys, right now we're gonna do some high speed sync. We got the 1424 on, we got the lovely couple right there. We got the Godox AD600 flash unit, the trigger. All right, let's go for a dip. Oh, nice. Hold it, very nice, hold it, yeah. Yeah, hold the kiss. Go for a kiss. Working with high-speed sync, an external flash unit, and a diffuser takes some time and practice. Here I added some lens flare in post. I thought it looked really cool. And of course, I use natural light all the time. There's a lot of situations where you cannot have an external flash unit. It takes some assistance to set up and you're on the go. Here's an example of both. On the left, you have a shot taken, natural light, and on the right, with the Godax. For those of you not familiar with High Speed Sync, HSS, High Speed Sync is your DSLR's ability to use a flash at shutter speeds faster than the camera's native sync. Most cameras have a native sync of 250th of a second, and anything faster than that is beyond the camera's ability to sync the shutter with the flash. I love natural light. These are all natural light. Here's an example of using the sunlight. And uh, I did a little bit of editing on this next image, same image, I fixed the hair, I made the skin a little softer, adjusted the colors for a finished look. Quick tip, when you're doing engagement photos at the beach, there's a lot of wind, there's sand. Ask the client if this is the last shot of the day because she's going to get her dress wet and it's not going to be pleasant for the next shot or if she's going to have a change of clothes afterwards. These next series of shots, I used the 7200, I backed away from the action and I wanted the natural light look. No flash, natural light, almost wide open to compress the background. Kiss him on the side of the cheek. I want to show you an example of getting really close to the subjects with the 1424 or wide lens versus a telephoto. This shot, same thing, taken with the 7200, but if you're really getting close, you can take shots like this one. It captures the excitement, the motion, it makes for a more energetic, more artistic type shots. Here, give me that, give me that real quick. <laughs> yeah, kiss him on the side of the cheek. There you go. Is that there all you go. got? Oh. <laughs> there you go. All right. Beautiful. Oh, Woo. oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> All right, guys, so I guess right now we're just waiting on the couple to get here. This is our 
third location of the day, Sunset Cliffs. And uh, we'll be using that Godox once again, the AD600. We used it on the previous under the pier shots. So basically today, guys, I'm using the Nikon D4 with the 7200 VR2. And I used the 1635 earlier at the, fl at the flower field. But then I switched over with the D800 and the 14 to 24 G lens, 2.8, so. So, Sunset Cliffs, beautiful place. We didn't get a complete sunset because of the clouds, but we got something better. I'll show you later. Haha, -ha, champagne time. Props, I love champagne, but you gotta make it exciting. You gotta make it epic. So I told him to shake it up, give me some action to the shots. And uh, put your camera on high, continuous high, and go for the shots. And remember to have a great time. Interact with the client, good vibes all around. It helps. Silhouettes, sunsets, natural light is nice. Do all that. However, take an external flash unit. This will take your photography to a whole nother level. Just like that. Closer. And let me stress this again. This is not a plug and play situation. This is not a software or something you load and it works perfect. It takes a lot of trial and error to learn off-camera flash. You need to have an idea of direction of light. You need to know what available light there is, the power of the flash and the white balance. And there's a whole host of things. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of elements involved when you're doing flash photography, even on-camera flash. I will make a future video on the subject of flash photography. But for now, let me talk about this image for a second. I exposed for the background, those beautiful sun rays coming in from the clouds. And by the way, you don't have a lot of time to capture those sun rays. So you better get to work. Don't miss that opportunity to capture the beauty. The sun sets fast, so you have a very small window. So anyway, I exposed for the background. I have the flash at maybe half power. And I set the ISO about 200 or 400 ISO. And I set the flash head on a direction coming in from the side, not directly at them. So it creates dimension. They look like they're photoshopped almost. Like three dimensions. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. sick. And of course, I like to get my solo shots in, headshots, and some natural light stuff as well. Not everything's flash. It has its own effect. So at the end of the night, we went to our last location in Coronado. They wanted night shots Smile. with the skyscrapers in the background, downtown San night Diego at San night. Diego. Yeah. Of course, use a tripod for these shots. I'm using a tripod, Nikon D800, 24-70 G lens, and the Aperture MC Pocket RGB light. Eighth of a second exposure at ISO 1600. All right, guys, well, we had a great time today with the lovely cu couple here. Can't wait for the wedding in July. We took some nice pre-engagement photo shoot, whatever you want to call it, pre-wedding, pre-engagement shoot. And um, we'll show you the, all the samples behind the scenes of today's shoot. We were all over the town, huh? All San over, Diego. all over San Diego. We went from Carlsbad <laughs> to La Jolla to Sunset Cliffs to Coronado. Yep. Yeah, so it was a great time. And can't wait for the wedding. Same here. Can't wait. All right, guys. Thank well, you. You're welcome. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. And we'll see you on the next video. Ready, guys? Yep. One. Rock Walk and up. roll. <laughs> <laughs>just wrapped up a beautiful pre-wedding photo shoot here in San Diego hope you enjoyed this video and after that we were like extremely hungry and we hit up this restaurant here called uh, pizza place in little Italy it's where we're at right now it's called Landines Landinis Landinis pizza 
authentic thin crust New York style amazing pizza guys you got to try Landini's I'm gonna thank the lovely couple today Ellie and Peter the weddings coming up but hopefully you guys got something out of this video guys behind the scenes pre wedding I get a lot of viewers asking me about uh, if you could do more behind the scene videos so it was fun guys and I want to thank also Armand right thanks brother you were great you had fun yes very all right so we're gonna say goodbye I'd rather have you do that this your is, video how about I this hold is the light? Vahography. This, this is Vahography. I'll hold the I'm, light flip I'm the Armand. camera I'll flip the camera around I'm I'll Armand. Hold the light. <laughs> The white I'm Armand. Give me the light. I'm Armand. Give me the light. Flip it around. Come on, you can do it. Yes, I can, but flip it around. It's your video. <laughs> Again, guys, this is Vahography. Wait, 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 wait. If you haven't subscribed yet to Vahography, this is your first time on this channel, go ahead and do so, guys. Go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. We've got more cool videos coming up soon. So hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. The more likes we have, the more YouTube algorithms does its thing. You know how it goes. And uh, I'll greatly appreciate it, guys. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. Me and Armand saying so long, good night, and we'll catch you later. Rock and roll.